So now let's start talking about the building blocks that you're going to use to create your application from the ground up. The first big component to understand about Builder is a page. Now a page in Builder is a little bit unique. It's not just potentially a website. It actually can serve the purpose of a variety of things inside of your studio. And this app layout in this particular starter template that we have for all builders is a really good example of what we mean by pages serving different purposes throughout your application. So let's start with the most common thing that people think of a page is a web page. A URL in, in Builder will always typically be represented by one parent page. And that's what it is that you want to display when someone visits a particular URL really often, something, something like your homepage. Now, another thing that a page can be in Builder is a component. If you're not too familiar with web development of any kind, one of the most important principles of design is building with scalability and reusability in mind. Because one of the things that you don't want to do is build the same thing 10 different times. And every time you have to change it, now you have to go change it in 10 different spots. And that leads to really cumbersome app development. By building a page specifically in Builder that is just the menu of your application, you're able to have a component to manage over time in one spot. And then on your pages, you're able to call your app header into the home page of your application through an element type that we call a component, which is simply a spot that lets you call in and assign another page in Builder to fill in this spot of a particular application. And so you've got your main pages in Builder that are pages themselves, and then you've got components that can be a page inside of Builder. There's a couple other additional examples that are really important to understand. In addition to the menu or a footer of your website, you have pages and components that you're going to want to use throughout the actual body of your content. So in this example, we have a component that is a repeating list element of all of the tasks that exist in this application. Now we'll have full training on what a repeating list element is later on, but essentially a repeating list is a way to repeat a set of data over and over again. So let's say you were displaying a friends list, or in this case, again, a to-do list. Every single task that you have will show up in that repeating list element as an item. And this is a great example too, because not only are we using a specific page to house the component of the whole list of tasks, but the repeating list element itself is referring to an additional page called the list display page. The list display page is what actually is represented for every single task that shows up on the page. So you'll see here on this repeating list page, three examples of what the repeating item page will actually look like, because what's going to happen when we load a new page up for every single task that we have, one of these repeating list item pages will exist on the parent repeating list page right here. And so we've created a structure where we've got one primary home page, and inside of that, we're going to pull up a list of our tasks in its own component. And then inside of that, we're gonna pull up one page for every single task that exists. Now, the final really important example to bring up here is a really common thing in your applications is going to be pulling up messages for different things. Maybe that's a message to edit or manage a task, which we'll see in a moment. Or maybe it's a notification to confirm deleting something. Either way, you're gonna to wanna to have a way to bring up information into your pages with specific forms. And by building these forms inside of their own pages in Builder, you're able to have one specific message center essentially inside of your main page. And whenever you need to pull in a specific message, you're able to go run an action called open page into container and actually load it into a specific spot on the page. And so in this example, we know this whole page has a specific event called edit item. And to do this, what, what's actually happening is we are opening this page right here into a container on top of this page to make it feel to the end user, essentially like a message. And we're able to use this page, pull it into this page. 
so that we're able to manage it visually in the studio and organize all of our notifications together, but keep the same experience that we want to for our end users. So let's dive in and take a look at what we mean by all of these pages. So we're logged into our app here. And what you can see at the top right here is our header. We've already talked about that. That's our menu that'll show up on all of our app pages. We see our list of all of our tasks. And you can see they each have their own little effect whenever we hover over it. And then we also know that when we click on this, we're bringing up a specific form to edit that task. And so to deliver what feels like to the end user, a single app, one page experience is actually represented visually inside a builder by a variety of pages that lets us build so that we can see everything that's going to come up. And it lets us build with reusability and recyclability in mind so that we're able to scale apps really quickly without having to rebuild components over and over again. 